the first thing we should decide is what size do we want our page to be? We'll leave this one on size A4, but I do fancy the narrow margins. We'll start by inserting a rectangle shape. We'll need to change the fill color. And remove the outline. And then let's create a fancy border to go inside of our shape. And let's insert a plaque shape. And we can use the guidelines to help us align and center the shape. We can use the yellow edit point to adjust the angle of the corners. And because this shape is supposed to be a border, we need to remove the fill color. And let's change the outline too. So now we're ready to create our price list. We need to create our headings first and we'll insert boxes to contain our text. Type our first heading, select the box, and let's change the font. And remove the fill color and outline. Now, to make it a bit more fun, we can choose a special text effect. Because this is a text box, we can easily drag it to move it around. We need to copy and paste this box and use it for our second heading. We'll increase the font size and then copy and paste again for our next heading. For our last heading, Insert another text box. Change the font. and add some formatting. And remove the fill color and the outline. We've got a few images that we can add to our fancy little price list. We need our scissors to be in front of the text. We can do that from the layout options. Use the handles to resize and rotate the image.
copy and paste. Then we need to flip the image horizontally. We need one more text box so that we can start to enter our prices. Enter our first item. To get everything aligned perfectly, we can use a tab stop in the ruler. And then we need to press tab on our keyboard and enter the price. Repeat the same steps for all the items. Hold down the control key and highlight alternative lines. And let's change the font color to red. And then to finish up, we'll add one final image to the price list. I strongly recommend that you get this beauty printed out. Stick it in a frame and hang it on a wall. And while you're doing that, I'll be preparing the next video. Until then, this is the end.